On January 16th, 2025, SpaceX launched the highly anticipated Starship Flight 7 from Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas. The mission marked a crucial milestone for SpaceX as it tested the company's latest advancements in reusable space technology. Equipped with a Block 2 Starship upper stage, Ship 33, and a Block 1 Super Heavy Booster, Booster the rocket soared into the skies at 4.37 p.m. under ideal weather conditions. This liftoff was closely monitored by the Federal Aviation Administration, which had granted two launch windows for the day. Now, let's talk about what made this mission stand out. The towering starship, with all its new upgrades lifted off smoothly, reaching new heights both literally and metaphorically. The goals for this mission were ambitious with the most critical being the recovery of the Super Heavy booster. Just seven minutes after liftoff, the booster began its descent back to Earth. This moment of truth was nothing short of nail-biting, but SpaceX pulled it off flawlessly. For only the second time in history, the booster was successfully caught by the launch tower's chopstick arms, a maneuver so intricate that it almost feels like science fiction. What made this feat even more impressive were the updates SpaceX implemented since their last attempt, where the booster ended up in the water. Enhanced sensor protections and improved hardware reliability were key to ensuring the success of the catch this time around. But while the booster's recovery was a triumph, the upper stage of Starship didn't fare as well. The upper stage, tasked with carrying 10 Starlink simulators, dummy satellites designed to mimic operational Starlink payloads, faced significant challenges during its journey. At around 7 minutes and 40 seconds into the flight, on-screen telemetry revealed an alarming trend. One Raptor engine after another began shutting down. By 8 minutes and 27 seconds, the telemetry froze altogether. A closer inspection of the footage showed what appeared to be a tear in the stainless steel structure of the upper stage. While it's unclear whether this tear caused a structural hole or was superficial damage, Elon Musk shed light on the likely issue in a post on his social media platform X. According to Musk, engineers suspect a leak in the oxygen fuel cavity above the ship's engine firewall. This leak built up pressure beyond the vent capacity leading to the observed failure. Musk assured the public that SpaceX would address this by implementing fire suppression systems in that area and increasing the venting capacity. Despite the setback, Musk was optimistic, stating that there's no indication the next launch will be delayed beyond next month. This rapid problem solving is a hallmark of SpaceX's iterative development approach where each challenge is viewed as an opportunity to refine and improve. This mission also showcased some of Starship's newest hardware upgrades. The propulsion system now holds 25% more propellant, offering extended mission capabilities and greater payload capacity. Additionally, the forward flaps received a redesign to improve heat resistance during re-entry, these innovations underline SpaceX's commitment to making Starship not just another rocket, but a game-changing vehicle for space exploration and colonization. But the story of Starship isn't just about engineering marvels, it's also about navigating complex regulatory and environmental landscapes. With an ambitious goal of 25 Starship flights in 2025, SpaceX faces scrutiny from regulatory bodies and environmentalists alike. The FAA continues to evaluate public comments about the environmental impact of these launches, a topic of ongoing debate. As SpaceX moves forward, the data from Starship Flight 7 will play a crucial role in shaping future missions. Lessons learned from the upper stage failure will undoubtedly inform design tweaks and risk assessments bringing the company closer to its ultimate vision of making space travel routine and accessible. Looking at the bigger picture, Starship is much more than just a rocket. It's a vehicle designed to take humanity to Mars, the Moon, and beyond, all at a fraction of the current cost. The successful booster catch is a step forward in proving the feasibility of fully reusable spaceflight. 
fueling hope for a future where space travel becomes mainstream. So, what's next for SpaceX? The team is already hard at work preparing for Flight 8. The issues that plagued the upper stage will be thoroughly addressed, with additional safety measures implemented to prevent leaks and ensure better pressure management. There's also speculation about potential changes to the Raptor vacuum engine design to enhance their reliability during prolonged burns. Meanwhile, the successful booster catch has opened up exciting new possibilities. By perfecting this technology, SpaceX is paving the way for rapid rocket turnaround times, which will be crucial for high-frequency missions, including satellite deployments and interplanetary exploration. Flight 7, despite its challenges, is a testament to SpaceX's iterative approach to innovation. Each test flight, whether a resounding success or a mixed bag of triumphs and setbacks, brings them closer to realizing their ambitious goals. This mission demonstrated that SpaceX is not just pushing boundaries, they're redefining them. The implications of Starship Flight 7's milestones and challenges open the door to deeper questions about the future of space exploration. What does this success mean for SpaceX's plans to rapidly scale their launches to achieve 25 Starship flights in 2025? Can the iterative approach to testing and development overcome the engineering hurdles of reliably recovering both the booster and the upper stage? Furthermore, with regulatory and environmental concerns continuing to shape the narrative, how will SpaceX balance its ambitious goals with the need for community and governmental support? On a broader scale, as commercial space companies like Rocket Lab and SpaceX push the boundaries of innovation, what role should NASA and other government agencies play in fostering competition and ensuring public interest remains at the forefront? Could the successes and setbacks of missions like Starship Flight 7 ultimately redefine the pace and accessibility of human space exploration? These are the debates that will shape the future of humanity's journey beyond Earth, and each test flight brings us closer to answering them. As we look forward to Flight 8 and beyond, it's clear that SpaceX is on the brink of achieving something truly transformative. Each step forward, no matter how small, brings humanity closer to a future where space is more accessible and sustainable than ever before. So, what do you think? Was Flight 7 more of a success or a setback? Share your thoughts below and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.